everyone, I'm Cookie and today I'm going to be sharing with you 7 years to or tips for beginners. So, I hope you enjoy! So I'm back everyone with better quality videos. You see, I have gotten a tripod, a better resolution camera, new editing app, and a new screen recording app. So I hope you will enjoy the better quality videos. And I hope they're better than the last one. So yeah. Basically, you will probably see some good improvements, I think. So yeah, this video is talking about seven digital art tips for beginners so those are just three samples of my art when i did learn these tips tip one pick the right tools for yourself you need to pick the right software and the right tablet i use clip 2d paint usually but uh, i also like to use um, ibis paint sometimes when i'm drawing on my phone and there's also Adobe Illustrator, it's pretty awesome too, and as well as Krita. So I advise you to use Krita if you animate like small two second videos or GIFs. Clip Studio Paint is great for comics, so is Ebus Paint and Adobe Illustrator is probably good for realis realistic drawing, so yeah. Now you need to choose the right tablet. I usually use the brand Wacom, so I I have an into a small that's a screenless tab. It doesn't have a screen. You just draw on the tab, and then the drawing appears on the screen of the, your laptop. And there's one with a screen that's called the Cintiq. So, yeah, that's just a tablet with a screen. And before you tell me, nope, that's just an iPad. No, it's not. It's a tablet basically dedicated, only dedicated for the one and only drawing digital art. So yeah, Wacom is a pretty famous brand, and I am a big fan of that. They're pretty amazing. They come up with uh, good tablets, and they're super quality. Yeah, I honestly love them. So yeah. Also, if you're an on artist on the go, it's better to buy a small tablet than a big one. And if you're just in con you're just content in your small little place. Or maybe it's big, I don't know. Uh, you can buy a big one, like a large one. So I just, I'm just an artist on the go. I usually paint at other people's houses, so I just have a Wacom into a small. So yeah, I'll, I'll link um, all these applications and, um, and the tablet I'm using in the description. So yeah. Tip two, you need to sketch regularly, everybody. Sketching regularly is a very important part of digital art. It helps you get used to drawing and it improves your skills. So yeah, this is a habit I've gotten used to since I started. So yeah, this is just a quick sketch. And as mentioned in my new intro, uh, th this channel can help you improve your skills in art, basically any type of, type of art, but this is for digital, because today's video is for digital art. And I'm super sorry if it's, if it's posted late at night, because there was a big, big rush in the morning since like 12 o'clock p.m. I've been searching, searching for a new editing app that works better than the one I just ruined. <laughs> yeah, tip three, learn different techniques and styles. So digital art mainly falls into two techniques, cartoon and realistic. It's good to learn them both. So this is one of my realistic ones and cartoon ones. Those, helps you, those help you make your, your own technique. So two stars is better than one. So yeah, you can make your own technique. 
combining all of them. So yeah, I think it's better to learn them both and make your own technique. So that's just a piece of advice from me to you. So yeah. So I drew myself and I drew a girl riding a bike while the sun is setting by the sea and she's riding on like a small, like, you know the part of the beach where it's normal floors and then behind it there's the sand, so yeah, that's basically where she's riding on. <laughs> yeah. Tip four, go in order. Start by sketch, then the outline, then the color, then the detail. So drawing is basically like building a house. Oops, sorry, I skipped. Yeah, you first start by the base, then the walls, then the roof, then you basically paint the whole thing. So this goes particular, particularly in any activity in life. Painting. Tip five. Don't spend so don't spend so much time on a drawing if you don't have any tips or background on digital art. So yeah. That's a pretty, pretty important tip and something important you should uh, take account of because it's pretty hard to start without any background info or anything. So I basically took my fair, fair share of research and did research about it for about one month and a half or something. Yeah, so that's a lot. Yeah. Anyways, it's probably, probably, I think, going to be extremely difficult for you to draw if you don't have any tips or anything. So, yeah. And you will probably, or most probably, actually be disappointed with your result or your masterpiece or not so much of a masterpiece. So, this is one of my drawings after I got some background and stuff. So yeah, you can see it's pretty detailed and until this day, I'm pretty proud of it. So this is one before I got them. You see, I didn't even finish it. It looks so horrible and ugly. So yeah, you see both of them are the same drawing. Just improved. Pretty sure there's a big, big difference. So yeah. <laughs> Do your kind of art. That's tip six. There are different types of art. Realistic, cartoon, and semi-realistic. So those are just three to list some. So yeah. I do the three, three of them, but I usually just do cartoons because they're easier, simpler, and they, for me, they're more fun. So this is just a realistic picture. You may have seen it or may not. This is a cupcake you may recognize from my last video or the one before I announced the news and my new intro and stuff. So yeah, this was a cartoon cupcake. I did a tutorial on how to draw it. So yeah, I hope you like that one. And if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Yeah, the link is going to be in the description. So next thing on, next type is semi-realistic. You may have seen this in the last few slides. So yeah, this is just semi-realistic. Tip seven, our last, last tip. It's okay to do bad art. Most people probably get devastated, devastated when, you, when they do bad art. And let me tell you, I've done that a lot. So it's not that bad if, if you noticed, you learn actually 40% of the digital art knowledge making mistakes and fixing them. And that's like almost half the percentage, which is pretty darn a lot. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and uh, you like this quality video and i'll see you next time on our normal art video bye